Hey everybody, I'm Biebs Kelly. We're back at another fashion edition this week, taking a look at some of Meghan Markle's outfits. Let's get started. Last week we looked at this Givenchy skirt, and I actually really like the skirt itself. In fact, I like the outfit a lot. Here you can actually see that Meghan Markle has her waistline, or the waistband, lower than she does a lot of the times in her like trench dresses or other types of outfits. She sets her waist higher. So here's the thing. If you have a more square or rectangular torso, you are a little bit more boxy shaped like Megan is, or if you're apple shaped where you almost have like a round shape, you have the opposite of the hourglass, you know, whatever it is. If you have a bigger midsection or a more square torso, then you can put the waistband and the waistline of your outfits where it works best for your proportions rather than at your natural waist. For people who do have an hourglass figure or who has a defined waist naturally, then you would generally place the waistline of your clothes near or on your natural waist. Big important piece in dressing is your proportions from your torso to your legs. So if you have very long legs in proportion to your torso, meaning your legs look longer in comparison to your torso, it's not like super balanced, then you might want to place your waistline lower so that your torso looks a little bit longer and your legs don't look out of proportion, so to speak. Especially if you have a more boxy midsection or a more rectangular midsection, then you definitely can play around with where your waistline needs to be because you don't have that very natural spot where it's like, well, even if it's going to make my legs look too long or too short in proportion to my body, this is my natural waistline and it's very clear. So there's a difference there. If somebody has a very defined waist, you can't play around so much with where you're going to put their waistline. But somebody like Megan, more square body shape in your torso and your legs are extra long, then you can place your waistline lower and you can buy things that have a drop waist or just a lower waistline, get mid-rise or slightly low-rise jeans. I don't think we need to go crazy into the low rise trend at all. Oh my gosh. You can get away with that a little bit. And we see that here with Meghan Mark. I believe this is a sweater and pleated skirt combo. You can see that that's a little lower than what she has done in many of her other outfits, regrettably. And the length of her sleeve is actually really nice for her arms as well. She has really thin arms, kind of lanky arms. And for some people, you'll find that from the elbow to the shoulder looks a lot longer than from the elbow to the wrist or vice versa. And so playing around with sleeve length can help to bring balance to that as well. I absolutely love this color in general and I like it on her too. It's really a beautiful outfit. The only error was that she didn't wear the proper undergarments and we've already been through that. Pleated skirts are one of those amazing types of clothing. They look beautiful on literally everybody, in my opinion. I just love them. The only thing is sometimes people get a little wild with the prints or the colors are a little bit off. But a classic pleated skirt is something we all should have in our wardrobe. Me personally, being so short, it can be really tricky to get a good pleated skirt that's not too long because a midi skirt... Um, oftentimes sits almost to my ankles or it is literally looks like a full length maxi skirt on me because of how short I am. So I do have to be careful with that. So if you're short like me, then the real only solution is to hem it or to get it tailored to be the right length for you. But if you are average height or you're tall, then a midi skirt should be able to be some, one of the easiest things you can find and buy off the rack and have it look great on you because pleated skirts have that swish and texture and movement that is just so lovely. Often they're sold in solid colors as well as patterns, of course, but like a solid pleated skirt is so versatile and it can look really slimming as well. Solid colors or fine prints. So really, really small prints, which we're actually talking about prints for spring coming up. If you want a more slimming effect or you want to look a little bit taller and have a more sleek line to your outfit, then go for solid or small 
small prints. Don't go for anything too big, chunky, or busy, like a big flower or big color blocking that's not linear. So color blocking that's kind of up and down can be really slimming, but having like a big chunk at the bottom and then a big chunk at the top in two different color blocks, that can make you look a little shorter and a little wider. So just be careful for your body type to be conscious of that when you're buying a pleated skirt but I absolutely love them. So it's a real shame that she messed this one up because this could have been a win for her. Okay, this one. The worst part about this outfit is what Meghan Markle did while wearing it, but we'll get into that in a minute. First, let's look at the outfit itself. The top is the best part of it. As an optimist, I like starting with the positives. So here we go. It's got a V-neck. That's really nice. It helps kind of elongate her, her neck area. The polka dots, I absolutely love polka dots. You guys know this. I have a thing for polka dots and it's a good classic black and white combo. This sort of a top is something that you could wear anytime, anywhere. It's going to look good any season. It's a real classic choice. So it's a great top in and of itself. The only thing I really don't like is the scarfy type of tie that she has hanging down like that. I'm not sure why she didn't just tie it into like a loose bow, but maybe she just is really bad at tying them because we know from the trench dresses that tying bows is not a good way for her to go and sometimes you find a shirt that's a gem except for a tie and you just have to make that choice are we going to do the tie or not are we going to get the shirt or not the sleeves hit her at the right spot they're not too long sometimes Meghan Markle's sleeves are way too long and it looks like she's being eaten by her coat or her shirt I have that problem all the time so you know she did a decent job here on this one being the right size and a decent fit the only negative I have to say about the top is the straggly strings hanging down the shoes, they're fine shoes. They're, they look to be sort of like a faux sling back heel. It's just, I wonder how appropriate a high heel that's that dainty is at a polo match where you're going to be walking around in the grass and there's going to be mud and horse poo. I'm not sure if that's the best choice. She should have done maybe some like cute flats or something with like a block heel maybe would have been more, made more sense. The only thing I wish is that there would be some white incorporated either in her hat or her shoes. It looks like there's just a sheer accent on the sides of the shoe. White added in on her hat or her shoes to make the look a little bit more cohesive because she has these bright white shorts that just draw your attention right there. And that's not bad in and of itself. It's just if there was some white on her hat, like a band of white around the crown of her hat, it would have just created more balance because there's just not enough visual balance to this where it looks like a full cohesive outfit. So if she would have added some white up top or down bottom, it would have been a little bit better. These shorts. So these are like really loose, swishy shorts that are made to look almost like a skirt. So I don't hate that in and of itself. I don't mind a swishy short or a short with a lot of fabric because as you can see, it's kind of blowing in the wind. So it's almost like a dress in that way that it moves nicely. So I don't necessarily like have a problem with that itself. It's just that it looks a bit frumpy here in the midsection area. When she pulls her pants up too high or her skirts up too high, it just doesn't look as good and neither do small skinny belts. So as we can see here, she's pulling Harry along and the belt is not a great choice for this particular outfit just because it's not the same material as either the hat or the shoes. So the belt is shiny, the shoes look suede or matte, and the hat is doing its own thing. It's like sheer and needs some white somewhere to balance out the look. So the belt should have been something more muted and matte, so just so that it doesn't catch shine. As you can see here with the shorts, you know, the length of them isn't horrible for her. She has very long thighs. Perhaps it would have looked a little bit nicer if it was just a touch shorter, like hemmed just a tad bit higher, but also it would have probably just looked better if it was just a skirt, not shorts. If it was just a skirt, a nice flouncy skirt, it would have looked so much better. As far as like where she has them pulled up, if it were a skirt, it would look better than as shorts, but 
She honestly doesn't have it pulled up as high as she does sometimes. I know a lot of you are going to hate that I said that, but honestly, it's not as bad as it could be. What do you guys think about these shorts? Here's the real tea, though. She got Harry's polo team up on this, like, stage holding a trophy that they did not win up into the air. And you know what she did? She wiggled her way into the center of the whole thing. She smooched all the players. She tried to steal some guy's treasure box and he wouldn't give it to her. So that was already awkward. And then she got them to hold the trophy up above her head. And she was like under there trying to hold her hat, being squashed above all these men's stinky pits. It was the most insane thing I think I've ever seen anybody do. It looked so bad. It was so cringe. I like needed to take a walk afterwards. It was really bad. I'm not sure how people can be that awkward and strange and continue to like do these types of things. Like at some point, if you're making that many social errors, you tend to to stop and back off and be like, why are things like stressful for me in social interaction? You reflect and you change and you learn how to be better in social situations and less awkward. This is why people think Meghan Markle is a narcissist because she keeps doing these things no matter how ridiculous and awful she looks doing them. And it's bad. It's rough. This was rough rough day. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's move on to more polka dots. This is one of the only other times that I remember seeing Megan in polka dots. It's like she didn't gravitate towards them as much. I actually quite like this dress. Cap sleeves do Meghan Markle a lot of favors. It helps make her shoulders and arms look a little bit less broad and lanky because it cuts just right here and she has very thin arms. So then you're paying more attention to the fact that her arms are thin and toned than you are of how broad they look. So cap sleeves are a really great solution for anybody who feels like they have broader shoulders or lanky limbs to just give cap sleeves a try and see how you feel in them. The color is quite nice. Polka dots are great and then she's got this little tie off to the side this time as you can see just having that tie off to the side rather than straight down the center already makes a big difference here's the big tip okay if you have a boxy figure or a wide waist or you don't have a very well defined waist or you have a short torso anything like that if you find your torso area to be a bit of a problem area for you or out of proportion to your legs or anything like that okay you don't want a bow placed right here in the very center of your stomach or in the very center of your waist whether it's up really high or really low it really doesn't matter anywhere from your breastbone to like your belly button or your lower stomach you don't want something right in the center drawing all the attention straight to the center because then your eye is focused on that center point and everything else looks wider from there so by switching just the small tweak of having the tie over to one side the left or the right is automatically going to send the eyes just to one side which gives the illusion of a thinner waistline or a thinner area because it sends your eyes off to one side so that can help a lot by just placing the accent or moving the eye off to one side or the other can help a lot and make a huge difference this is the same type of technique we see angelina jolie use here with this sort of a dress where it's very much angled and swished off to one side or the other another option here naomi campbell has the eye moving down towards much lower on her torso rather than up higher which then draws the eyes down lower so that's another solution also with these sorts of drapings or these sorts of things like in these two gowns that you see from these women who have similarly um, boxy style shapes or lanky limbs or their legs are longer in proportion to their torso or their shoulders are broader or wider than their hips these types of women have similar style concerns if you will in terms of balance and proportion to Meghan Markle similar not exactly the same 
similar. By switching the eye over to the side here, you can see it creates a lot of diagonal lines, which are slimming on everybody. No matter who you are, diagonal lines in your clothing is going to be a sort of slimming effect, and it's going to lead your eyes to follow that, which typically goes off to one side or the other, which then again creates that nice balance and slimming effect that drawing the eye to the side tends to do. That's why I think that this particular dress, even though it has a tie, works so much better for Meghan Markle than the other trench dresses with the center ties. The only other thing that I have to say about this outfit here is that you can clearly tell she did not have on the proper undergarments because you can see um, just a lack of smoothness under the dress here around her hip area. If she had just worn a slip, you wouldn't have that happening. And I just feel like it's another case of if you're in the public eye, you're getting photographed, you just do take that extra effort to look polished and professional by wearing the right undergarments, but that's just me. I also just am not a huge fan of her sandals here at all. They're like gladiator style sandals, which are pretty chunky and bulky. And I don't think she needed to necessarily be in heels here. She's walking around on a deck and getting onto a boat, it looks like. So, I mean, you wouldn't necessarily want to wear heels for something like this, but she could have done just a simple chunky pump that was only like a couple inches tall, and that would have been fine for this outfit. Something in in a similar tone, like a burgundy or dark red, would have looked just fine. Something that's not pointy-toed either, because she does have kind of long feet. Something with a more rounded toe would kind of balance that out too. So, I think she should have done different shoes. And I think she should have worn the right undergarments. But other than that, this dress actually was quite nice. And there's not very many pictures of it. So I'm not sure if it was like a down day or what. But it was a good dress, actually. You can even see here in this picture that her waistline, again, it's not quite as high. The tie on this dress is not quite as high as some of the other trench dresses or wrap dresses that she had been wearing. This is an outfit that she wore when she was pregnant. I'm not here to like pick this apart. I'm just talking about dressing and proportions and things like that. Style tips that can actually make a difference when you're shopping. Because as I said in another video, like when you're shopping for clothes and whatnot, 90% of what you find you're going to say no to. Whether you like the outfit or not, 90% of what you find in a store you're going to have to reject. It's not going to fit you right or it's not going to be the best thing for your body type or whatever. These shoes, I'm really not a fan of these shoes. It almost looks like there's like a plastic, clear plastic panel over the top of her foot just right near her ankle there. And I just find it to look a bit odd and strange. This is another case of the textures of the materials you wear matter when you're being photographed. So anything that's shiny is going to catch a flash and you don't want that in that spot on your feet, on your shoes. Here you can see that the slit is just a bit bulky in its design and this skirt in general looks a bit chunky. And then you have this collar that's like popped and pulled out. Here's the thing, with her shorter neck, and broader shoulders needs to not be drawing attention right here, up here. If you have a super short neck like me, like this is not a lot of space. <laughs> if I have some like big poofy sleeves or something, I look like I'm being eaten by my clothes. I don't like the big tall collar at all because of that. I do think that a v-neck type situation is fine. So the neckline is fine, the collar is not. And I don't actually hate the little puff right here on her shirt either. I just wish it had been a flat designed collar where this collar was just down and, and laying flat like a lapel situation rather than this collar up like this around her neck. Because she's pregnant, I'm not going to get into the waistline situation and where it's sitting. So you just leave your opinions in the comments and I'm excited to read them and see what you think of this. Then you have here at her sleeves, again, it just looks sloppily rolled up. It is possible to have a sleeve folded neatly to the length that suits you best and either basted, pinned, or sewn into place right there so that it doesn't move throughout the night. It's not a wrinkly bunchy mess and it doesn't look sloppy and messy the way it does here. She could have and should have done that. As for the skirt, 
I just am not sure that it was the wisest choice for being pregnant because it's kind of bulky and chunky. It's not slinky and flowy. So the skirt is kind of creating this weird appearance as she's walking. You can see it just looks a bit odd and it's kind of pulling and gathering in different directions and it just would have looked a lot nicer if it was a flowier fabric and if it was not black like this because this is very reminiscent of like a waitressing apron and it very much looks like that it almost looks like similar type of fabric so that's not a great choice either unfortunately some of what the internet said about this outfit was hilarious some of it was kind of rude it's serving take an old man's suit and turn it into an outfit vibe not sure that that's like 100% the best thing to do, but you know, I mean, I guess it's a quite quirky way of dressing and it can work for people. And if it's your style, that's your style. The thing is, no matter what style you have, no matter what type of clothing you like or what sort of vibes you like to send with your outfits, no matter what that is, you still need to follow the rules of your body and your lines. And here, the biggest issue that I will take with this is that she did not. I do like that the collar doesn't sit up, last one we looked at. I do like that it's a V-neck type situation because that does help elongate her neck a little bit more. She doesn't look particularly wide in her shoulders in this outfit either because the sleeves are tighter on it. I absolutely hate how she rolls up her sleeves in this like wrinkly bulky sort of fashion because I think it does draw attention to the thinness of her arms in the lower half. It just adds busyness and noise to the look that you don't need. Navy pant, brown accessories and the white top it just hitting her in the widest part of her waist it's just not working it's just not working the shorts it looks almost like she rolled them up a little bit to make them a little bit shorter probably because they had so much room in them that then her legs looked extra twiggy sticking out of them but yeah it's just it's a bermuda with pleat in the front and they're like suit pants. I really just, I don't understand what's going on here with this particular outfit. The bag, I feel like needs to be with like a beach dress, something, something flowy and, and relaxing vibes. That's what that bag needs to be with. Not this. It's just odd. And then she was going to dinner or lunch or something with Gloria Steinem, who's like in her nineties. So then it looked even more like a bit odd to people because they were like did you s borrow an outfit okay here we have an outfit on kate and it's actually a really cute casual outfit but it won't work for everybody and let me tell you why one of the things that i love about it is the jacket combo with the jeans this sort of a blazer with like a light breezy shirt underneath and some jeans and some trainers or some air force ones or something just white plain tennies is a great outfit for spring so like if you don't have something like this in your wardrobe you should totally get it I highly recommend it jackets like this and blazers like this are really versatile so if you get a color that goes with a lot of the shirts that you already have in your wardrobe you can wear that blazer dressed up dressed down in casual times or not and it's going to look nice with almost anything you wear underneath so it makes it a really versatile piece and you can layer it in fall or as the winter months come around again you can layer it up and add sweaters underneath or things of that nature and so a blazer like this is really great and this nice blushy color is perfect for spring as you can see her jeans don't sit very high or very low these are totally mid-rise and if you don't know what would be best on you then go for a mid-rise because it generally works well on everybody kate has very long legs but she also has a very long torso she's really tall so for the most part she's pretty well balanced proportion wise from her torso to her legs so mid-rise is just right for her and it hits her pretty close to her natural waist and again, she's really thin, so she's got like kind of a long natural waist as well. So when it comes to like dressing somebody, Kate definitely has one of those bodies that is a lot easier to dress and she can wear a lot more wide range of outfits. Most of us are not both 
very tall and very thin and very proportioned. A lot of us don't have all three of those home runs and so we are dealing with a problem area in one spot or another or we're needing to adjust our proportions more carefully and that is where I've come to. This outfit won't work good on everybody and I wonder if you know why. Her jeans have the slightest bit of a flare above the ankle. They're not wide-legged jeans because as you can see they're snug through her thigh and up until her knee and they're also not like officially cropped also not necessarily a straight cut they're just ever so slightly flared just barely and that works for her it works for people who have very slim legs and it works well for people who are tall so if you're one of those things then you could totally lock this sort of outfit but if you don't have very slim legs or you are short this will not work as well you can wear it of course if you love it wear what you love having the ankle on show is great and it can work for shorter people, but adding that little bit of a flare is what takes it in the direction of being a little bit harder to wear for most people. It adds visual weight down at the bottom. The reason why this works okay on Kate is because she is very streamlined. When you look at visually her body, it does not have a ton of weight in one area or the other. In this particular outfit with the blazer on, it creates balance from the blazer having a little bit more weight down to the ankle having a little bit more weight. So it creates a really nice look for her. So just be careful with, with your jean, mindful of whether it's adding weight in a spot that you want to add weight. And I don't mean weight in like actual body weight. I mean visual weight of where things are wider or flared or poofier or have texture or ruffling or anything like that that adds visual weight to something. Here we have the actress Kate Winslet in an outfit that actually shows you the way color blocking can really help to add slim vibes to your outfit. Her waist is not as well defined naturally. She has a slightly more boxy frame. By using color blocking across the waist right here, especially at that diagonal line, is able to add the illusion of more of a waist and it's balanced out by that bit of a shoulder as well. So it looks really nice on her and it's something that actually would work really well for Megan. Color blocking and diagonal lines can really solve some of the issues if you are feeling like your frame or your look is a little bit too boxy to help create visual balance where you need. Here is another example of a side gather in a dress or an outfit where you're drawing the attention to one side or the other. Here's a dress and an outfit that Megan wore that actually looks really nice on her. The asymmetry of the top is great, especially like Meghan Markle's wider shoulders that kind of de-emphasizes them by having that asymmetry and that diagonal line across right here. I'm not a huge fan of like the way the sleeves played out over here, but you know, otherwise it's a really decent looking dress. I'm not a thousand percent behind that thin, thin little belt she has on. It looks like she's doing a handbag commercial here in this particular picture. Having shoes that have these like spiky things off of the back, these like straps, I guess, that are like probably sloppily tied behind the back of her ankle and then just sticking out like weird bunny rabbit ears. For this particular look, it would have looked so much more professional with just a clean pump, just clean heels. If she wanted to do stilettos, still fine, but if they would have just been black, simple stilettos without any straps anywhere, it doesn't look very professional. Well, that's all we have time for in today's fashion edition, so please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you did. Click the bell icon so you get notified when I put out new videos, and I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a happy day. Bye!